How's it going today? This is Thomas with GuardLine Security, and today we're going to be going over the basic setup and pairing routine for your GuardLine driveway alarm. The first step in setting up our driveway alarm is to power each of our devices. Your sensor runs on four AA batteries that fit into the battery carriage inside, and you can access that by removing the four screws located on the front corners of your sensor. Your receiver has the option to run on a 12 volt adapter that you can plug in here and that comes with your unit or you can pop the back plate off and run it on four AAA batteries. This is what we'll be doing today. Now that both of your devices are powered up and ready to go, we can begin the pairing process. The first two things you want to do are locate the on switch on your receiver, flip that on, and also ensure that your volume is turned up. On the other side of your receiver, the next step is to locate the learn button and hold this for a few seconds or until your zone one LED starts to blink. Once that starts to blink, your receiver is in learn mode. At this point, you can use the melody button to select a different melody other than the default for your sensor. We'll stick with that for simplicity's sake today. So your receiver is in learn mode, you have selected a melody, the only step left is to activate your sensor and receive the confirmation beep on your receiver that it has been paired. You can now use the learn button to cycle through the available zones until none of these zones are blinking. You have exited learn mode. At this point, if I activate my sensor, I should receive a confirmation on zone one with the selected tone. Now that your sensor is successfully paired to your receiver, the only step left is to find a place outside to mount your sensor. We recommend mounting your sensor three to four feet off the ground, not mounting on a metal surface as that will cause interference, and giving yourself as close to a line of sight as possible as this will give you the maximum range out of your system. One important step to take before you begin your pairing process is to make sure that your guard line sensor is facing away from you during the setup. This will ensure that you don't prematurely pair your guard line sensor with the incorrect zone or melody. As always, thanks for watching, and if you have any additional questions or comments, feel free to reach out and contact us at guardlinesecurity.com.